Summers. I am the owner of the Hollywood Comedy on Melrose and Vine, and we are closed during this pandemic. And I'm so sorry about things that's happening. I I feel like everybody's losing money. You know, um, me and Don Barris. <laughs> Somebody's making making a sound. So it sounds like somebody is jerking off. <laughs> That's Hi. some hard wood. Hi. 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 What's up? I'm MJ Trump. Hi. Hi, Mr. Trump. What's up? <laughs> Don Barris, welcome. Don Barris, welcome. Joe Wang. Welcome, everybody. We have uh, 15 people. Okay, uh, we have 40 minutes. So this is our first Zoom show. It's gonna get better. Pretty wonderful. Hello. Is Down this there. going out live anywhere? Are you recording this for later or what's going on? Well, the first show we're just uh, uh, testing. We are recording, but our next one will be live on YouTube. Uh, what's your name? Michael Filato, Michael MJ Filato. Hi, Michael. This is uh, a show. Uh, that uh, uh, first sh show um, produced by the Hollywood comedy called the THC Quarantini Show. Uh, I should have my Quarantini, but my husband said I'm drinking too much, which is stupid, right? I don't drink that much. He said you are having too much wine. So I told him, okay, I'm, I think you are right. I'm having too much wine. I'm just going to start a whiskey now. Uh, yeah, let, let's go back to um, my 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 uh, final joke because I need to wrap up early, so everybody has five minutes. Um, me and Don Barris were talking about. Uh, uh, I mean, everybody. Everybody's losing. Me? Yes, everybody's losing money, right, Don? So you were talking yes. to me. What uh, should people do to make more money after Corona? I mean, after the quarantine, we all agree that uh, divorce lawyers would make much more, more, more money than everybody else. Ah. Okay. Okay, there we go. Oh wow, Jay Lee. Can you hear me? I hear you, honey. Jay Lee. You mm -hmm. look fabulous. Huh? You look fabulous. Thank you. How are I'm, you? I'm doing great. I just want you to know that uh, Chinese in LA network, they are watching our show and they are very interested in our show. They would love to promote us, which is amazing. Oh, oh my god, amazing. Iris is here. Her name is Eris. She's a wonderful lady. Eris, hi. Hi, everyone. <laughs> I'll grab you later, okay? Oh, <laughs> oh my god. We even got Trump here. Uh, amazing. Lily, you are our first comedian. Uh, okay. uh, I'm just going to give the mic to you. All right. Are we starting now? Yeah, we are doing this. Okay. All right. So, Hey everyone, my name is Jay Lee. Uh, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different than my usual setup. I am a tarot card reader. I don't know, some of y'all are probably like, what? Um, yes, I became super LA since I moved out here, but I find a lot of joy in them, so don't judge me. And before I came into this, um, before I came into this, I did ask uh to do a reading and, and for my spirit guides to call some things out for us um so i'm just gonna go ahead and get straight into it we got the cups we have the knight of cups the four of cups ooh carry it immortality and watch and listen carefully okay so i don't know if y'all can see this hello okay here we go so with the ace of cups here okay for all my creatives out there i know we are during a time of quarantine and um this is a great time for us to dive into our creative expressions even if it means dressing up as a president or whatever your heart desires. Um, with the Ace of Cups, it's saying this is a perfect time to dig into those hobbies you really like to do. 
Okay, whether it's finger puppet or drawing or painting or gardening, or maybe for some of y'all, y'all really enjoy um, watching cat videos. Don't know why I got that message, but yes, whatever you want to do, this is the perfect time to do it, y'all. Okay, this is a great time to do whatever you want, express yourself, and spread that love around. Okay, like the spirits are like, you know what? Fuck it. No one's watching. No one gives a fuck. Like, just do what your heart desires and share that with people because that's what people want to know what you're doing okay it could be something crazy and stupid like if you think you can play the accordion or piano then just do it okay it's a great time to start diving back into your hobbies with the next card the knight of cups right here Ooh, this is a great card for those people who are in relationships or you are with your significant other at this time or if you're not with your significant other that's okay but it's basically okay. saying for whoever you are in the household with try not to kill each other okay <laughs> try try not to put your um boredom or uh, like your need for attention onto you onto the people around you because everyone's feeling the same way but y'all need to create those boundaries those space you know, I like to have boundaries and that means putting yourself in a bubble inside the house too. So be careful when it comes to relationships. If somebody is driving you crazy, um, don't drive them crazy back. Just take some time away. Okay. Go have some fun in the bathroom. If you know what I'm saying, like whatever space you need. Oh, and your what husband are you saying? Is like, <laughs> if your husband or wife is driving you nuts, don't don't worry. Okay, this is kind of like a test for relationships. Um, even though y'all are quarantined together, make sure you create those boundaries, those space, those limits, and know that um, your partner might be annoyed at the fuck out of you right now, but that's okay. Okay. <laughs> Some of y'all like to nag. That's what I'm hearing. A lot of y'all like to nag. Whether your husband don't do the dishes or do the chores, it's okay to nag. But also know your know your limits. Know your limits and boundaries. Oof. Um, four cups here. This is a message for everyone. It's very easy to focus on the negative things that happen during this time. Um, I know for a lot of us we watch a lot of the news or maybe we're watching like Tiger King or something that pops up in our feed that just seems depressing or really like bad. And yes, I know everything seems really cray cray at the moment, but with the four cups here, it's saying, try not to focus on the negative things that are happening and start to appreciate the things that are, are happening that are for good. Okay. Whether that's, um, being grateful for being healthy for today. Okay. So if you're not coughing or sneezing or throwing up or having a fever, bless, bless God for giving you another day of breathing. Uh, so with the four of cups, it's really just saying, even with everything that is going crazy right now and with everyone being kind of like in the state of panic or fear, don't worry about it. Focus on the things that are going right at this moment. Focus on the things that are, you know, good. Find something to laugh at. Find something to just be like, oh, I finally got time to masturbate. Yes, grateful for that. Or, oh, I got time to cook me some food. Yes, I can get fat and no one is watching me. So, yes, those are things to be grateful for. Um, so, and with the last card, the chariots, this is a great card. It's saying once we all get out of this, we have that power and that opportunity to go after the things that we really want in life because we're going to have this alone time to do it. And with this opportunity, that just means even after everything, even some of us who have been unemployed or don't have jobs at the moment, just know when this is over, <laughs> we're going to be busy, y'all. We're going to be so busy, okay? And I'm not talking about, you know, like that kind of busy, but busy as in we're going to have a lot of work available for us because everyone who lost their jobs, well, guess what? We're going to get more jobs to open up to and to come back to. 
So thank that's you. Experience. Very positive message. We need that. Thank yes. you, Katie. Yes, yes, you're thank welcome. You. Thank you. And if y'all like to hear more, I do more reading. So follow me. And if you want any more information, feel free to. Uh, and these last few cards just says, watch and listen carefully. Be careful of who you listen to. Um, and just, you know, if someone's gossiping or being negative, know how to protect yourself, protect your energy. And the immortality. Is that saying part, we shouldn't listen to you? <laughs> we're not listening to you? Uh, no, I'm just saying you listen to whoever you want to listen and just, you know, be aware of it because this is a time where you don't really have to, you know, follow someone's you rules, or follow ideas. someone's expectations. And you can do whatever you want, guys. I'm just saying this is the perfect time. You got you get to be alone. You get to freely follow your heart. Awesome. So do that. Thank you guys again. Thank you so much. And I hope you enjoy that. Follow her at uh, Adventure with Jay Lee. She yes. is a comedian and she is a psychic. She's wonderful. Uh, uh, thank you. I want to welcome our next comedian. He is a dear friend of mine. He is the doctor of science and the doctor of funny. And he's also um, amazing, amazing father. Uh, welcome, Zhou Wang. Huang Xi. Welcome, Zhou Wang. Woo! Hello, everybody. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not quite used to this uh, Zoom show yet. So I ended up applauding myself. <laughs> it's a little embarrassing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> But, but to be honest, you know, I, I'm a great audience, you know, like, because I clap really loud, you know, like, I have the loudest clap and big laugh. So, you know, sometimes when I'm doing stand-up comedy shows on stage, I just, I can't help just think, oh, this show would have been much better if I'm sitting in the audience right now, you know. <laughs> uh, anyway, so... Uh, uh, I'm glad everybody is uh, doing fine, and uh, I just want to uh, uh, say this, you know, uh, today I saw this video put out by Bill Maher, I think it was out yesterday, where he was still talking about why COVID-19 should be called Chinese virus. Mm -hmm. So after all the you know you know racial slurs, uh, <laughs> violence against Asian Americans, he still think we should call it Chinese virus. So this is what I want to say to Bill Maher: Fuck you, fuck your whole yeah. family, fuck you, fuck you, fuck. Yeah, that's what I'm yeah. gonna say, the motherfucker. Should be called the Tom Hanks. It's not enough for him just to be a regular asshole. He has to be a racist asshole. asshole. That's what he is. Motherfucker. And I just wonder, who the fuck told Bill Maher it won't offend Chinese people by making a statement or even a fucking joke like that? I was wondering who told him that? Andrew Yang? You know, what the, what the <laughs> fuck's going on? <laughs> <laughs> and also, you know, I just want to say, Bill Maher, your show sucks, okay? Go home and watch <laughs> Stephen Colbert, watch uh, John Oliver, watch David Letterman, watch Alan, and... Uh, David Letterman is no longer show. on. You know, learn how to do a fucking talk show, okay? Just just stop being David such a Letterman fucking David Letterman is not on anymore. What? David Letterman is not, David Letterman is not on anymore. Yeah, Why but Letterman still it? has a show called uh, Our Next Guest. Yeah, it doesn't need any introduction. Like once every so. few months. Watch Jimmy what? Kimmel. Watch Jimmy Kimmel. Yeah, yeah, watch anybody. <laughs> that, that's my point. Just go home and learn some fucking sure. skills, okay? Don't just, just be, be on TV and be a fucking old white turd and spill racism shit, okay? <laughs> I, I had enough of that kind of bullshit. All right, that's what I'm gonna say about uh, um, Bill Maher. Fuck. Fuck. And, uh, uh, and <laughs> also, th this whole Chinese virus thing's been over for a couple of weeks, okay? Now he thought about, oh, I'm gonna write a joke about the Chinese virus. You know, what, what, where, where was he hiding, you know? <laughs> God. 
I don't know what, what Hooker is talking now, but you know, it's not doing him well. Jesus Christ. Um, and, uh, and also, uh, uh, Donald Trump today uh, also, you know, he ran an ad suggesting that Gary Locke is a Chinese agent. I mean, Gary Locke, this, his family had been in this country for three or four generations, okay? And, uh, you know, when he was the ambassador to China from America, basically he was attacked in China by a lot of people because he was an American. It just breaks my heart that in this country, the president was attacking him because he's Asian, you know? This is so fucking wrong. This country from the fucking, from the very top, to your president, all the way to the lowly talk show host, Phil Mark. This is so fucked up. Boy, the coronavirus is really fucked with you, man. Uh, no, it, it, no, no, it's, uh, it's fucking up the whole country. That's what I'm saying, you know? And the coronavirus is not the only thing that caused the racism against America, okay? This bullshit racism against Asians has always been there, way before I have, coronavirus. I, I, you're yeah. you're yeah. preaching to the choir, like, brother. Let me give you an example, okay? Because when my son was about six years old, he actually came home and said to me, Hey, Dad, uh, someone called me a chink at school. I said, okay, what did you say to him? He said, oh, I told him, uh, I'm not a chink. My parents are. <laughs> <laughs> when you call the chick by her own son, you know, that's the, the rock bottom of uh, American racism here, you know? And I have to say something to him. Just, I just said to him, hey, listen, son, mom and dad are not chicks, okay? Your grandparents, on the other hand. <laughs> okay. All right, that's about my time. Thank you guys so much. Fuck Trump and fuck Bill Mark, okay? Have a good night. Thank you. Thank you, the great Joe Wang. He's bringing some uh, really important issue uh, to the light. There's so many crazy racism in America right now against Asians. I like, uh, I, I can't even be mean to my husband in the house anymore because he's Chinese, you know, like it's just hard. Uh -huh. Like, that's not the point. I'm just making a joke, but Joe is that. <laughs> Bill Maher is a piece of shit. He can do anything you want him to do if you give him weed and uh, beautiful black girls to suck his dick. That's all he wants. <laughs> Welcome, uh, the one and only Don Barris. Don Barris is uh, the face of the comedy store for decades. He is on Jimmy Kimmel every night, and he's the star and the producer of the indie hit film uh, Windy City Heat. If you don't have anything to do, you want to, be, uh, you want to have some fun, that's uh, the real reality show about the comedy, about uh, um, just the passion. This is Don Barris, my friend. Hello, thank you very much for having me. You have, you put on glittery stuff under your eyes. I also wear this like, uh, um, um, me so, me so, uh, I'm not gonna be me so funny, me so funny shirt, not shirt. Like hey, shirt. wake the hell up, man. You all right over there? Somebody fell asleep. Maybe hey, he You really sauce it up for this Chinese show, don't you? <laughs> and yes. By the way, somebody, uh, okay, somebody really got upset here today, and, uh, and I think that I think that to me, there's one race, and that's the human race. And I just want to put that out there. One race. There you go. Welcome back. Thank you very much. By the way, Jia Ying has been very nice to me, and she's let me host her potluck quite a few days in a row. And I can't tell you how much I thank you for this. Thank you. Absolutely. There you are. There you are. So thank you very much. And that's reason. I see my friend Amber's in here. Hello, Amber. Can she yes, talk, hi. Amber? Hi, very sweet. How are you? Oh, you hi, got guys. all dressed up for this show, I see, huh? Yes, yes. <laughs> Come on, these are your fellow Chinese people. You got to look your best. Yes, I was looking for them. They're here. There they are, yes. Speak Chinese to me. Say something to me. Something. Okay, that's funny. 
you okay. still got did you oh did you know that the, the um the bat soup the bat soup is a spanish thing i i had that when i was in spain <laughs> it's a spanish thing seriously that's true look it up it's a it's a local delicacy in like southern spain really <laughs> yes Norm mcdonald called, doesn't say anything about hey, the chinese hey. huh Norm mcdonald called this dis- the coronavirus he calls it the Tom Hanks disease. Oh, oh, okay. That's what Norm McDonald said. So I just was, who was the guy that was upset a little earlier? Boy, he had some, he was upset. Where are you right now, Amber? Oh, I'm in East Los Angeles. Really? See, si. yes. <laughs> hey, Joe, Joe. I know Joe. You know Joe? Yes, yeah, I met him in the mic. I know you and I know Zhao Yang. Those are the two people that I know. Hey, I know Eddie Torres, but I don't see him. So now let me just tell you this, if I may say something, Amber, and I'm trying to help you out. Look at the time when, when Zhao Yang gets back on. Look, she prepared herself for the show. She looks wonderful. You look like you just got done working out. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. I'm saying that's the difference. You got to get yourself all dolled up. This is a big thing. There's a newspaper watching this tonight. Wait, Did you know that? Tell tell them what the newspaper is, Zhao Ying. Chinese in LA. Oh, is that a real yeah. thing? Yes. That's oh, real. sorry, that's sorry. Real. Yeah. Oh, really? So now people, people are saying, oh, this Amber Chen, she's nice, but boy, she just she looks like she just got done working out. Oh, she's effortless, sexy. Yeah. Oh, thank you. I'm trying too hard. Nobody no, 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 no. Me. You're beautiful. Look at me, and my husband think I'm getting older. <sighs> you're you're young and attractive. Okay, okay. Just uh, just call me the Asian Beyonce. I'm gonna eat your pussy right now. You are the Asian Beyonce. Beyonce. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. It's Say it, Amber. Say it to her. Agree. You are, 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 Donald likes it. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is fun. So are we going to get a chance to see everybody doing comedy here? Are we going to see Amber do comedy? Uh, what about comedy? Okay. I lost everybody. Okay, you are here. Oh, there you are. I see you once again. Hello there. What's up, Don Dada? Oh, I know this guy. Hello there. How are you? Representing the San Francisco 49ers, I see. This is a guy for the other people that came in here. He comes in on Zhao Ying's the, uh, the virtual open mic, and he came in and he admitted that he was a homosexual the other day. <laughs> I did but, not say really that, cool. Don. Yes, he did. Yes, you did. Oh, it was on your show, actually. Stop lying. Your, what is that? Look, what are you looking for? I'm looking for my head, my headset. Maybe you could have been a little prepared before you came on the air. I'm Who not, are you, Amber I'm, Chen? I'm not even. I'm not even performing. I'm hanging out. I'm part of the audience. Well, how'd you get your face in there then? The audience can participate. They can. They yeah. can talk. Come on, Don. <laughs> I'm just hanging out. Okay, move. Did you freeze, Diane? I'm good. I'm good. I just okay, uh, I'm I, you froze. You about froze the, over here. Oh, there you are. After she told me about uh, me being the Asian Beyonce in Chinese. <laughs> I'm still like oh, Donald Trump. Oh, sincere. <gasps> She's sincere. <laughs> What, Amber? I said sincerely. Uh, 
you still, you're still wearing the same clothes. Change into something nice. Put on a little makeup, for God's sake. The Can't Chinese I'm not the doing Chinese. that. I'm only doing that for money now. She's not dressing up uh, to be nice to the other girls. She's like, uh, I'm too hot. If I dress up, I have no friends. I'm just going to turn this, this down. Is that what you thought there, Amber? Is that the truth? Or is she just protecting you? Sorry, are you asking me to change on camera? I'm only doing that for money now. She's you change funny. off camera. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Force of habit. Sorry. <laughs> are you doing that? Hey, Donald Trump likes that. <laughs> hey, Donald, you're handling that this or really well. What's that? I'm sorry. You were saying something? Okay. You, yes. Me? No, not you. Oh, sorry. The gentleman that said something with the holster th t shirt on. Okay. Oh, or send pictures of her feet. She only does that for money now. Yes, yes. I don't do that for free anymore. I learned from yeah. Ophelia. When did you do that before? Kind of never, but I'm just saying that as a joke. Were you there that one night, the guy that had the foot fetish in the audience at the comedy store? No, I wasn't. Okay. All right. I'm sorry. You're probably Thought mistaken me for the other Asian person. There are only There's two. No okay. That's really funny. The Chinese newspaper's watching you right now. You've done nothing but embarrass the Chinese people. I'm not even doing my race. Okay. <laughs> I would have a problem, Don. What's the problem? Uh, Kiki Yan, she uh, she's our comedian, and she said that uh, this this keep, keep kicking her out. She can't get in. I admit her, and she can't get in. Why? I don't know. This is not nice. No. Why would uh, people do that? Do you think uh, I should? Uh, um. Has she has she tried uh, turning on and off her computer? Um, what a stupid idea, Amber! <laughs> Absolutely. I'm the engineer. I know better than you guys. Why did you ever? Maybe she could drive her car in her apartment. Maybe that would help. I don't think so. She's not Korean. She can't do that. She's Chinese. What if she just did the hokey pokey and turned herself around? There you go. See, that's an idea too. Okay. A good one. Okay. Okay. I think. Okay. I, I don't know what, what's going on that you can't get on. That's that's weird. Okay. I I think we just have to um go to the next. Are you one. blowing your nose while the camera's on you, Amber? No. I, th I think we can just bring up uh, Ryan Gilmore. Okay. And then we can see if Kiki can come on. What do you think, Don? I think that you should do whatever you think. I think that sounds like a wonderful idea. Love you, Don. We love Thank you. you. Okay. Um, sorry, guys. I, I, I just, uh, I'm, I don't know why I can't figure this out. But uh, let's bring up Ryan Gilmore and then Azize is on deck and let's see if we can get uh, Kiki to come back. She said uh, she keeps getting in and we can keep her up. Her up. Don, love you. We have 40 minutes. We have 40 minutes, so I have 10. No. <laughs> nice. You got, me, nice. you got me on that list somewhere? Nice. Yep. Okay, that's nice. Okay. Where, where is uh, it? I just want to, um, I'll start by repeating, you know, I agree with what Don said. There's only one race, and that's the human race. Uh, well, there's two races. There's a human race, and then there's whites. Um, Don, you said that Amber looks like she just worked out. You looked like you worked out about 20 years ago. <laughs> Me? Me? Sorry. <laughs> what did you make of mine? What did you say it worked out like it's a bad thing? Um, how's everybody doing? I uh, got to keep the momentum on this hot show going. Um, 
I trim my you've beard. Added, today. You've had a lot of spice to it, that's for sure. So continue Thank on. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> I uh, I actually trim my beard today. For those of you that know what I used to look like, I uh, I looked in the mirror and I started to look like one of Joe Exotic's husbands. <laughs> uh, so I had to take care of this thing. Here's what here's what's bugging me. I've seen all this shit online where people are saying. Tiger King has proved that white dudes are three or four baggies of meth away from sucking a dick and marrying a dude. First of all, two things on that. One, those guys were clearly more than three or four baggies of meth. Like that wasn't, they weren't like, oh, I'm just going to try it out and see what it feels like. That was a commitment to methamphetamine that you were watching on that thing. And two, it wasn't just meth. He also had fucking tigers. Like that guy, people are acting like it was just the meth. And I'll be honest with you guys, I have never done meth before, and I have never pet a tiger before, but I guarantee it's fucking amazing when you do them together. (laughs) (laughs) Um, I was reading online, you know, restaurants are having a really hard time right now going out of business left and right. And, And there was a study, it said that the number one restaurant that is doing okay during COVID is pizza delivery places, you know, cause, cause people are kind of comfortable. They're comfortable with pizza delivery. They know what that feels like. They know what it looks like. Uh, the places that are having the hardest time during the pandemic are all you can eat bat meat cafes. Um, what else do I have? Uh, I'm looking at my notes real quick. There was a, uh, yeah, I, I, you know, Joe, I, I really feel about what you're going through right now. I was thinking about all the racism. It, it's just shocking to me that people are are reacting to this crisis with racism. So I have an offer for everybody. Instead of the China virus, any Asian Americans out there from now on, I want you to refer to this thing as the Kentucky virus. Because here's the thing, you're not going to bring our reputation down. <laughs> like, if we, you cannot bring our reputation any lower than it is. So just go ahead. We'll take that fucking hit and we'll be good. Because right now the Kentucky virus is herpes. Uh, so if we get COVID, at least we got on the news a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I saw this guy. Joe actually posted this thing. I saw this thing on Instagram on your uh, on your feed, Joe, where this guy is a big old fat guy in a 7-Eleven with a mask, and he wrote thanks and then the C word, like the racial slur. Not that C word, the other C word. <laughs> so there's two C words, one for Asians and one for ladies, and uh, Chinese ladies get both C words. Oh, I thought you were talking about had, the amusement park. The yeah, world. he had thanks C word. And here's the thing. He was in a 7-Eleven like everything in that fucking store was made by Chinese people so if he wasn't trying to be a racist asshole that's a pretty nice thing to say in a 7-Eleven like it's a big old fat guy like the pop tarts you're welcome for that made in China all the fucking energy drinks you're welcome that made in China the company 7-Eleven is actually owned by a Korean company so the next time he's like thanks C words he should just write the actual name of the Asian American people and they'll be good to go uh, that's my time. I'm going to give it back. I think we need to keep this momentum going. I'm Ryan Gilmore. Thanks so much. Keep it going for Ryan Gilmore. He's my half brother because I went to Kentucky for college. I went to UK, University of Kentucky. I'm going to bring up uh, the one and only Kiki Young. She runs uh, Crazy Work Asians, Crazy Woke Asians. She is a producer, a mom, a power lady, a power lady, powerhouse lady. Okay, she's back. Hi! Hi, thanks, Jiao Ying, for having me. Uh, uh, yeah, it kept kicking me off. I don't know why. Um, yeah. I, yes, we're doing comedy. See, everybody's kind of frozen right now to me. I don't know what's going on with my internet. Can you hear and see me okay? We can. Okay. Yeah, okay, I'll just say that you do. Oh, yeah. Okay, so Ryan was talking about coronavirus racism. I, I didn't really hear what Don was saying. I, I heard you say, tell Amber to put some makeup on or something. <laughs> she doesn't need makeup. Her face is so white. It's like young. It's like egg, like soft. You don't need any makeup. Um, I didn't even get to hear Joe's uh, uh, set, but I heard some of uh, Jennifer. Jennifer, where's Jen? Oh, yeah, Jennifer doing the tarot cards. <laughs> um I've been thinking a lot about this coronavirus racism. I've been so afraid to go outside alone because, you know, I don't want someone to yell, go back to China. 
Um, so I, I bring my four-year-old son with me. He'll protect me, right? He'll throw Legos at the, the racist. Um, what else? Oh, yeah, I, I've just been writing a lot about the coronavirus racism stuff. Oh, hi, Lin. Um, they're talking about, like, Chinese people eat bats. I mean, I'm Chinese. I've never eaten a bat before. <laughs> I've tried cow brain soup. You know, anybody try cow brain soup? My mom says it's really good. I, I've had some. <laughs> it's good for your IQ. <laughs> but, but they oh, yeah, my son's trying to come in now. He's banging on the door. He's a terrorist. You know, he's, he's, he, I nursed him for like two and a half years. And now, and now he's trying to nurse again. I just don't understand why he's trying to nurse on me again. There's no more milk left. It's an empty boop, okay? But it's just so tiring because I have to be with him 24-7. So I've given up. Like the other night, I just let him nurse on the empty boob. <laughs> but it's like my boobs is like a natural tranquilizer because within five minutes, he's knocked out. <laughs> Jeffrey, are you still nursing your son? Um, my son bites. He, he, oh, he, he yeah. bites. If I want no nipples, I can give him any. <laughs> my bite, uh, he bites me a That's few times too. Monster. But, but I just smack him. Every time. Well, he's, my son is 13 months old. I have to wait two more months to smack him. You know, it just, I don't have oh, to... oh, okay. Yeah, wait two more months. Oh, yeah. So yesterday, was it yesterday? Yesterday or day before yesterday, I was like on my Instagram live and I, I was I had to talk to some comedian friends, and, and then he was fine. My son was normal, and then all of a sudden he comes over. He got jealous of me talking to like my friends on the Instagram live. He's not throwing things at me, and then he threw a wood plaque on my forehead. So that's why I have a a band aid, and so I whooped his ass. It's sounding like I'm doing child abuse, but no, it is domestic abuse. I'm getting from the four-year-old. Hi, Doug. <laughs> um, what else? Oh, yeah, I, I start thinking about Batman. You know, he must be so lonely, quarantined in his little bat cave with all the bats. Maybe we should nominate him to donate his DNA so, so we can get a cure for the, the, the vaccine, right? We can find a vaccine quick. Those leaves are right next to his beans. Okay, Kiki. Yeah. Kiki, I think uh, I should uh, um, end the meeting and go back so we have four more minute more time because every day she is uh, gonna do uh, the last. Okay. Time, but, uh, okay. Thanks, um, Kiki. We your work last what, time. What about the president? I guess oh, that. Sorry, yeah, we're gonna come come back. I'm yeah, just yeah. Log out, come back they in. They won't cut you off. They won't cut you off. <laughs> so fast. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Cool. cool. Everybody. So the president can wrap up. Okay. Azize? Yeah? Oh, wait. Hi. Kiki, um, uh, my boobs is gone. Like, after the baby, it's gone. Azize, she, she, has, she has the most fantastic boobs. Like, her boobs are... Oh, I'm not showing them, right? Oh! <laughs> it's just us, I guess. Like, oh, no, there are 20, 23 people here. <laughs> Oops. Azize, hey. Turkish princess. So, it's my, my, time, my turn? Yeah. Hi everyone. He Hello. said it cut up, uh, cut out uh, too too fast. So we we have. Oh, okay. So Kiki, your mom. Yes. Wow. Uh, Joying is a mom. You guys are super hot. You guys. Are <laughs> I, when I was a child, I seriously, I I really wanted to be a hot mom. You know, I was so jealous of those friends that had hot moms. Um, really, I really wanted to be out, um, uh, but like a couple, couple years ago, I found out that um, I'm infertile, so, you know, I can't be a mom. So I'm just hot. <laughs> so, can, it it. can you guys hear me? Yes. Yeah. So you guys are talking about like backgrounds. Uh, I have three citizens. I am Turkish, I am British, and I'm American. But at first, I was like so excited, you know, having three countries in a world like this when there's pandemic. I always thought that there will be always at least one country that I can go. But this pandemic proved that none of these countries are worth anything. They're all worthless. So I'm so disappointed how all these three countries uh, handled this pandemic. So I have no to go. 
But um, but I love America, like America, because I have freedom of speech here, and you can say whatever you want in her. We can't, like, we can't because our president throws journalists in jail if they criticize the government. So you think Trump is batshit crazy? Our president is like Trump on crack, literally. Actually, our president is, I guess, a uh, wet dream. But on a good note, on a good note, like it's it's really good to be prison in Turkey, really. Like, like you really want to go to prison because you, you. It means that you're smart and you're intellectual. You know, here you can't find a job if you've been in prison, but in Turkey you can't find a job if you haven't been in prison. You have to be in prison to get a good job. Like in in in, Tur- in Turkey, you go to the prison library and ask for a book. They're like, oh, we don't have this book, but we have the authors. You can go and chat with them. Who is that? Someone is like having a yeah. Somebody's having a party. Let me see. Who's watching a TV? Somebody's watching. I'm 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 gonna see who's watching. Somebody's. <laughs> I'm sneezing. I'm sorry. <laughs> no problem. So I don't know. I'm so distracted right now. But sorry, yeah, somebody's maybe, gonna watch. Maybe Xiao Ying, you can mute that person. Okay, let me mute. It's okay. Uh, you mute everybody. Is that Spanish? Someone's watching a Spanish. I think it's Henry. <laughs> it's not me. But I also wanted to share my my ta- It's like the tarot cards I have. Wait, wait. I'm showing. It. I don't even know. These are my husband. My husband is into tarot, guys. That's so creepy. That's so creepy. At first, I was like, he's learning it, and I. At first, I was like, you know what? You should. I should be your guinea pig. You should just like, you know, look, you know, read my tarot cards. But then I'm like, oops. I really want my husband to read my tarot cards and find out all my dirty past because I really didn't tell anything about my past to my husband. So I don't tell know. Us. Tell us then. Tell us. Rehearse on us. Tell us about your dirty past. <laughs> no, I'm not telling it, It's like a rehearsal for your He's husband. He's sitting behind so can... me. Oh, tell him to leave then. <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be another 40 minutes so i'm gonna keep that aside <laughs> i think that's my time it's already like been a lot no <laughs> <laughs> you're on mute i'm not oh no, he's uh, on me miss hollywood i'm on mute okay sorry guys Welcome. You have me on the list, right? Somewhere. Oh, where's Mr. I'm the, President? I, I'm, the, I'm the last. I'll do. I'll close. Okay, just say something. Say something that's uh, um, that's just the nice, Mr. President. Can you say something that's nice, like uh, nice to the uh, to the Asian Amer- American Asian Americans? Like, can you just uh, try? Oh, absolutely. I know it wasn't your fault. Soros did it all. I mean, Bill Gates and Soros have had it in for me, no matter what, at all costs, to beat the Trumpster. So. I know it wasn't the Chinese that did it. I mean, hey, plus, <laughs> you know, my buddy Ozzy Osbourne, he eats bats and he ain't got no Corona. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to blow up six countries if you let me. Is it, is it my turn? And it, it makes me as the president. Go ahead. <laughs> you let me do it? Mr. President, say something nice. <laughs> Absolutely fabulous to be here in Hollywood, California this evening with all of you. I'm still the president until they impeach me again. <laughs> Tell you what, during all this Corona stuff, I really haven't had to change much in my life. I'm not sure I'm on TV every day, but you know, my ratings are going through the roof. Absolutely. Absolutely. One other thing I've had to change. 
I don't get to grab as much pussy <laughs> as I normally do. So, you know, I thought, you know, this might be an international show. So I was going to go ahead and blow up a whole bunch of countries. You know, I want to talk <laughs> about China for a moment. You know, that uh, Justin Trudeau over there in China, you know, he's a backstabber. Exactly. You know, and speaking of Canada, Harry and Meghan, they're in the news. How good is that Poonanny got to be, Harry? I mean, you know, <laughs> Megan's Poonanny, how good does it got to be? The guy was third in line to be the king. I mean, that must be some really, really good Poonanny. You know, I've known Meghan Markle for a long time. Howie Mandel brought her up to Trump Tower about 10 years ago, back when she was a briefcase girl. She, was, she brought it with her. It was a number seven. And, you know, that's what I'll give her. I'll give her about a seven. <laughs> I grabbed her. You guys know where, right? <laughs> Tell you what. Maple syrup. <laughs> Let's go back to China. Uh, I mean, uh, Canada. Canada here. Excuse me. <laughs> I tell you what, Justin Trudeau, breaking news. We're bombing Canada and we're keeping the maple syrup. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like I said, I'm going to blow up a few countries, you know, I, and one of the biggest questions I get asked is, why did you pull out of NATO? Yeah. I pulled out of that bad NATO deal because I'm a pull-out expert. That's right. <laughs> I pull out of Melania every time during our monthly. I pull out every time I have a late-night meeting with Kellyanne Conway in the Oval Office. I pull out. Wink, wink. <laughs> I pulled out of that bad NATO deal just like I pulled out of Stormy Daniels. <laughs> one more, Hollywood, one more. <laughs> I pulled out of that bad NATO deal just like I pulled out of your mama last night. <laughs> Let's talk about, you know, uh, Germany, Angela Markle. I heard she got the Rona. You know what? I don't care. You know what? I bet you her Bunani ain't got no maple syrup. <laughs> Only thing it's got is cobwebs. Ah! Wow, wow! Breaking news. We're bombing Germany, and we're keeping the chocolate. <laughs> Let's talk about a country I'm friendly with. My buddy, Pooty. <laughs> Vladimir Putin. He's not a bad guy after all, you know. Me and Pooty, we got a lot of things in common. He's got three Slavic wives. I've had three Slavic wives. Just the other day, I was colluding with Pooty. During our collusions, we came to the conclusion, uh-oh, did I just self-incriminate? Doesn't matter. I'm the president, and you're not. So I'll just pardon myself. As I was saying, during our collusions, I came to a conclusion, or we came to a conclusion, Slavic women do more stuff. Now, now that all that Russian BS is over, I'll go ahead and admit it. I've had ties to Russia for 35 years. Where do you think I get all the mail order brides? Okay, let's blow someone else up and we'll be done here, okay? My buddy, my ex-buddy, Kim Jong-un, you know, my advisor, Mike Papadopoulos, told me, Quit calling them names and things while they were trying to give me a peace medal. Doesn't look like I'm going to get that peace medal, so here I go. Kim Jong short. Kim Jong fat. Kim Jong bad haircut. Tell you what, Kim Jong un is like a bad high school date. That's right. Guys, you have a bad high school date. Every time I would date Kim Jong un, two weeks later, not but two weeks later, he's in bed with China or Russia. Bad high school day, all over. Tell you what, Kim Jong Doe boy, line that million man army up. You guys have seen the million man army, haven't you, on CNN? Shiny boots, regimented marching, squadron after squadron after squadron. Line them up, Kim Jong stir fry. I'll knock them down like dominoes. <laughs> Kim Jong Un, you mess with MJ Trump in the United States of America, I'll turn you into egg foo. Young. That's right. Why well, go ahead and end this on a positive note? Talk about creepy Uncle Joe Biden a little bit closer to home here. 
I tell you what. He said he's going to pick a woman running mate. The only one, the, the, the one that was a leader, she was running. She was a leader for just a moment in the race. I hear that he's going to pick Elizabeth Warren. Joe, I tell you this. If you pick Elizabeth Warren as your running mate, you guys ain't got a wigwam's chance in China of beating the Donald. That's right. God bless America. God bless Hollywood, California. And God bless each and every one of you for being here this evening. Thank you. Thank you. Um, that's nice. That's, uh, that's very good. Uh, very nice tan and wear a mask. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you, everybody. Thank hey. you so much. I'm sorry. After the present speech, I start my nose sneezing. <laughs> I don't know why. Maybe the virus just uh, came to me. I don't know. Uh, thank you guys so much. Um, okay, thank you, Joanne. Thank everybody. you, everybody. Thank you, Joe. Awesome. Thank you, Kiki. Thank you, Azize. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Michael. And thank you to my family, to my my thank family you. and my best friend. Thanks a lot. Really thank appreciate you. it. I got a new Corona test. I got a new Corona test. I just need all the women line up, and I'll grab them one by one. <laughs> 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 Looking for the Meghan Markle. I'm so happy we had enough time. Hey, Mr. <laughs> President, what about guys? Do you have a test for guys? Do you have a test for guys? Coronavirus? Well, once Dwayne The Rock Johnson came to the White House, you know, and he's a really beautiful man, right? You know, and, you know, the Donald's very straight, but, you know, I did grab him, you know where. <laughs> <laughs> guys well, check my youtube channel out i got 300 videos i do tour i used to tour you know but, but i don't know, i think they got two or three trump impersonators out there in california i usually get booked uh mid you know uh mississippi st louis florida new york um, i'm in texas so i do a lot of dallas a lot of uh houston but uh, my channel michael mj filato on youtube got 300 videos there some of them are outrageous uh, some of them are okay, but uh, <laughs> Great. it's definitely not your run-of-the-mill comedy. <laughs> yes, exactly. Thank really you enjoyed it. I'm so happy that uh, Kiki told me um, this uh, This is not going to cut us uh, right at 40, 40 minutes. Thank you, Kiki. <sighs> Welcome. Thank you, guys. <laughs> okay, thank you guys so much. Have a good thank night. Thank you so much. Thank you thank so much. You. Have, thank you. Thank you guys so much. We have a free open mic at the Hollywood Comedy. So if you guys want to check it out, uh, just uh, uh, Mr. Don Barris, he runs 8 p.m. And uh, uh, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. It's a TGC virtual open mic. Thank you guys so much. My nose is running. I want to thank our friends watching. And I want to thank the Chinese in LA uh, network that's watching us, promoting us. Please, please promote us. We are funny. We are every 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 Saturday at 8 p.m. We have a show on Zoom. Next time will be better. Uh, I will be better at technology, but uh, nobody will be funnier than these guys. <laughs> Yay. Absolutely. You, thank My nose thank is running. Signing off from Texas. Okay, bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> bye. 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 Just gonna... Thanks. Bye-bye. Five minutes bye. next time, please.